My parents have been divorced since I was about two years old. I lived with my mom up till I was about five. Uh, moved in back with my dad, that's where I you know, did all my schooling and stuff was when I was living with my dad. Um, he works for NASA, so highly intelligent, I would say. And my stepdad also had a lot to do with me moving back in with my dad. Uh, didn't treat me the, the best and it continued on with my brothers and my sisters on that side of the family also. Sophomore year, it's kind of started heading downhill. Uh, did drugs, did, uh, was skipping school. My dad thought it was time for a change and time to get my life back on the right track. And just said, you know, I think we're gonna go look at this school in South Dakota. And at first I refused, you know, I was just like, no. <laughs> You know, and he was just like, well, you can either do that or I'll take everything you have, you know, your truck and you can start out on your own and won't have my help. Well, at that point, I was smart enough and I said, OK, I was scared. I was mad. Um, I had a lot of emotions running through me. You know, I was depressed for the first while that I was there. Just something I kind of had to deal with. I would say it probably turned you know, after the first month or two is when things started to turn around. Troy guys had a lot to do with that. Um, I was, you know, I was up at the barn with him when I could be working with the horses. The horses were a great deal for me. You know, I did learn a lot. I learned patience. I learned, you know, responsibility. The staff, you know, were always there so that I could talk to them and vent my feelings out. And they were, Definitely caring and always there if you needed them. Troy, I kind of think of him as like a second dad. You know, if he's seen that I was getting on the wrong track, he'd always make sure that I got myself on the right track. He knew how to calm me down. He knew, you know, what certain things upset me. And just, I mean, he basically knew who I was. Like I was his own son. He's always there to help me out. I mean, even since I've been out of the ranch, there has been times where I've gone to him and, you know, he's still able to help me out. That's something I can greatly appreciate. You know, I had taken a liking into breaking horses up there, um, training them, and just building a closer bond with one particular horse. You know, in time, I was able to get that horse to, you know, follow me. You know, I didn't have to, didn't have a lead rope or nothing on it. I could keep it right by my side. Uh, that was, I think, the first time I had ever gotten to do that was probably a big stepping stone for me because it showed that, you know, I could get the trust of someone or something else. I believe it was Achievement Days at one of our horse shows and I had took a uh, grand champion in showmanship and driving. And that was probably one of my proudest moments there because I'd worked so hard to achieve it. I started, started out in the cottages. Um, you basically work your level, you know, your levels up. You start out level one and then, you know, based on your behavior and your participation in group activities and stuff like that, you know, eventually you move up levels. They teach you uh, how to save money, you know, budget yourself. Uh, more responsibility that you carry with you when you're up there. I was the only one to graduate the day that I did graduate. My family came out. I think that day was probably one of my happiest days just because of the fact that I was, you know, I actually graduated when probably a year before that it was pretty, a pretty far reach to graduate. The school they do a very good job. Um, it's a lot easier for them to help you one-on-one -on -one because of smaller classrooms, which I really like. Very structured, and I think that was probably one of the reasons that also helped me out a lot. I think the ranch has a very good program whenever it comes to you know, being able to help kids even after they get out of the ranch. I think in the end, it all comes down to the individual person whether they want to change or not and that was something that the ranch also had t taught me was you know y you have to decide if you want to change because obviously the ranch isn't going to change you and 
what I would like to say to all the people out there that do put their time and money into the ranch is I greatly appreciate all of them. Um, it's helped me out a lot. It's helped me get through school because I'm sure without that, I'm sure the ranch wouldn't be able to give scholarships to, you know, kids who want to go pursue, you know, their career. And also the people for, you know, being able to set up certain events that we have without all the contributors out there for Macrossans, I think it'd be a lot harder for the ranch to, you know, help put kids on the right track. On the track that I was going, I probably would not have graduated and I probably would not have gone to school. I probably would have just called it quits and got a job and, you know, worked a minimum wage job for the rest of my life. You know, I just didn't care. I was living my life being a teenager, you know, young and dumb. I am attending Southeast Technical Institute for Diesel Mechanics. I'm in my second year right now. I have a three-year-old and a fiance. And I, yeah, I'm struggling right now. Don't get me wrong, I'm broke all the time. But with the responsibility and money control that the ranch has taught me, I am pretty much able to support myself you know, I'm ready to move on with my life and know the mistakes that I've made and not make them again and keep myself on the right track and be a successful person.